Welcome to the 65th Primetime Emmy Awards. Tonight we celebrate the best of television. Uh, for our younger audience, that's the thing you watch on your phones. <laughs> We're here to honor the best and the brightest talents in our industry. They're responsible for the programs that this year made us laugh, made us cry, and for the front row, made them rich. We've got a big show planned for you tonight. Uh, we're here in the Nokia Theater. We've got 17 cameras, 20 musicians, 200 crew members backstage, and over 6,000 people in the audience. Not to mention, <laughs> cheer yourself. You made it. Not to mention that over 30 million people around the world will see this broadcast. And why not? These are remarkable times for television. The content has never been more varied. The viewing has never been more easier. You can now watch TV on your TV, on your laptop, on your mobile device, on, you can on your watch, you can on the Google Glass, you can... Matter of fact, right now I'm actually watching an episode of American Horror Story Asylum on my contact lenses. <laughs> this past year... Mom! Sorry. Sorry. Pause. Damn, pause. Got it. Sorry. This past year... In my opinion, it's been one of the greatest in television history, truly. And it's uh, all thanks to everyone in this room. Um, it's true. It's a historic year. That, well, think about it. There's something for everyone. For every mad man, there's a mad woman. For every smash, there's a splash. Wait, don't show, don't, don't show him land. For every, for every Walter White, there's an orange is the new black. Or, as Paula Deen now has to call it, orange is the new African-American. <laughs> Not soon enough? Good. <laughs> That's a good one, Neil. You're doing great. What? You're doing great. Th oh, hey, thanks. Hey, it's last year's host, Jimmy. Jimmy Kimmel, everybody. Thanks, Jimmy. I appreciate that. This really, really like the tone you're setting. Big thumbs up from everyone in our oh, row. Cool, thanks. Thanks. Thanks, Jimmy. I'm kind of in the middle of getting the floor. Right, right. Going. Don't mind me. I'll just be right here cheering you on. Okay, great. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, television has never Actually, been more historic. If we you just, now can ha we just get a, Can we get a timeout for a second? I could just give you just like a smidge of advice. Sure. Just look around and take it all in. I mean, enjoy every second of this because, I mean, there's a good chance they won't ask you back next year. <laughs> Got it. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, yeah. You can go back to your seat now. You know, just something to think about. I get it. Uh, yeah. Th th they didn't back. ask Jane Lynch back, is what I'm saying. Yeah. Well, they, they didn't ask me back, and, um... Hi! Look at that. I want to tell you why I wasn't asked back. I wasn't asked back because I'm a woman. No. <laughs> Jane, come on. I don't think anyone that watched you host that night thought of you as a woman. I'm going to show I, you how much of a woman I am. Right here, right now, on this stage, Harris. I wouldn't like it, Lynch. I would like it less, Harris. Um, guys, 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 no, I got this, right. I got this right here. I, Neil, hey. Neil, you, Jimmy Fallon, everybody. Neil, you, 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 you got to do a song and dance no, thing. No, I don't like want Like you did it. for the Tonys, give him a little tippy-tap, give him a little... No. That. I'm, I am not gonna do anything like that. Okay. That is far too gay. <laughs> Look, I think you're all forgetting a simple fact. I hosted the Emmys before any of you. Well, not before me, you didn't! Colonel O'Brien! I hosted the Emmys twice! Twice back when it meant something. Lighting cue. <laughs> the year was 2002. Back then, an Emmy broadcast was watched by over 900 billion people. Those were simpler times. There was no honey bee boo. People had plenty of storage, and they didn't fight wars over it. And there was no internet. 
You had to pay for pornography. Yes. <laughs> Those were the days, I tell you. Back then, a host was a god. Above the law. Now look at us. A bunch of amateurs hoping to get a selfie with the guys from Duck Dynasty. Okay, stop. <laughs> stop. Stop. This is ridiculous. It's all going according to my plan. <laughs> I was promised the hosting job this year and they turned me down. They said they wanted someone more likable. Really, look at that parade of blabbering buffoons. They couldn't host a child's birthday party. Getting them all to sabotage Neil was almost too easy. But I believe the cherry on the proverbial Sunday is about to be served. Okay, 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 got it, fine. Listen, listen, stop, stop. Guys, guys, enough. I am doing the show, all right? Clear the stage, thank you, please, unless anyone else has any more uh, crazy advice for me. Yeah, well, we do. We got some advice for you, FBI. Yeah. Oh. We got some advice. We got some advice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, of course you do. Yeah. <laughs> work, not twerk. I come to award shows for the twerking. No, stop, no. Twerk it. I, I, am, not, I am not twerking. I'm not gonna do that. That would be de degrading. Yeah, it might be degrading, but we would be degrateful. <laughs> Why do you guys have 3D glasses on? <laughs> so I can see your business up close. <laughs> Yo, FPH, check those pants off. America wants to see what you're working with. No, no, you guys, you guys think you know what America wants? Then why don't you get up here and kick things off? Ladies and gentlemen, our first two presenters from Parks and Recreation, 30 Rock, and the bit we just completed, please welcome Tina Fey and Amy Poehler. <laughs> 